Hi and welcome again to another episode of Monster MTV and today we're talking about the best paint colours for period homes in Australia and talking about period homes there are many many different designs that have come about since the 1800s in the young history of this country but what we and you know there are things like the Victorian, Edwardian, Georgian style but we're going to talk about three of the more common ones we find that are very very popular and commonly seen with renovators and flippers around the country and we thought that'd be the best advice that we can give on how you select your best paint colours for those. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Federation style home, which had started around the eight, late 1800s, that 1920 period up to that area. Um, that is a, a design which is still commonly used for both new builds, where many builders are, are, are branding along that Federation or Tudor style terminology that's often seen. And obviously there are renovators out there that are capturing some old properties out there that can do wonders with them and uh, really bring up that Tudor style home into a, um, a great property to either live in or to sell and, and uh, make a, um, turn into someone else's dream home. So uh, the Tudor style home is reminiscent of that old English style looking uh, property. Commonly seen with the red brick facades, um, which you will, is a notable character for Tudor style or Federation style homes. A steep pitched roof, and sometimes you might even see the Tudor style weatherboard on the external uh, piece blended in with the red brick. Uh, elaborate verandas are very common to be seen with this, tiles, uh, this styled home, and internally high ceilings with decorated plaster work. Now, this type of home has a specific look. And so when you're picking your colours, particularly interior, warm whites work wonders uh, because a lot of the time floors might be a tessellated tile or a terracotta type tile that um, blends in with that old look and particularly with the red brick facades outside. So the warm deeper colours or deep creams, dark neutrals work very, very well, particularly on the plaster walls and uh, the plaster work. With your ceilings, you can with this type of home, you can go away from your standard ceiling white and you can look at a warm white. And so it had been discussed before where sometimes you have that rounded look where you might use a, a, a warm ceiling white on the uh, obviously on, on the top of the, the ceiling and then they continue that colour down the walls. So that's one you can consider with this type of home because you that, that warmer white is commonly used over a cooler white or a sharp white for this type of styled home. And the beauty of having a warmer white with this type of design is you get to uh, maybe play and be a little bit daring with uh, highlighting certain walls with those um, what is called a deeper green or a traditional heritage green uh, coloured paint or deeper reds. Um, often you'll see those colours with colour bond roofing but they're used also as colours internally um, on a feature wall or a part of the wall that's in, inside. And also light browns, and so and, and as far as the outside goes, when you've got things like posts or poles or the um, even picket fences, you can blend in those sort of deeper heritage colours in with a Tudor style um, frontage, and so that gives it that classic look. Federation style is not something you want to be daring with and sort of go Art Deco inside. You really want to make sure you keep and retain that look. That will give you the best value. Warm whites, I'm sure you'll find most designers will recommend with a Federation style home. The next period home that is very common in Australia and lots of fun to work with because you can do lots with these is the bungalow era which was during that 1920-1940 era, heavily influenced out of America, um, often referred to as sometimes the Californian type bungalows but these, these types of homes are lots of fun. I've never lived in a, in a bungalow styled home but I've had lots of friends and family that have got them and there's lots you can do with them. Uh, one of the features with them is they have a lower pitched uh, roof and the verandas always have those, uh, tend to be uphill with some sort of thick uh, column or block brickwork at the front. And you've got that, you've got verandas both at the front and the rear that you can do lots with, with those um, type homes. Interior. One of the features is obviously stained wood, whether it be in the, on the floors or the facades of those homes. And so with, when you're picking interior colours for a bungalow, uh, you, neutral works, light creams work, but also cool whites can work. And, and obviously, we mentioned previously on this program and with some of the monster stories, depending on this, the direction or the area that your home is in, but you get to have a lot of feature rooms 
with a bungalow style uh, home that faces a direction where you can use the sun and bring that up either with if you've got stained floors or timber floors um, that are polished particularly pine floors which are common then you, you, you've got a, a warm white that goes with that but you can blend that in with a bit more of a neutral white or a, a cooler white if need be. You do get an open space with many bungalow type homes compared to that federation style home that we spoke about earlier so uh, cool whites are very smartly used to bring light into the room and try and extend the space or even the awareness of that area and, and that helps you um, actually try and make the room look a little bit larger than, than physically what it is. And these are found all around the country. So they're sometimes coastal, but you also get them inland. There is so much you can do with these. They are also, the thing that I noticed with bungalow homes, and a lot of people have asked us in the past, depending on when they've been built or how, how old they are with the renovation style, you either have the exposed brickwork uh, exterior, or often the brickwork has been painted over. There's a couple things you can do with that. If it's, if it's exposed brickwork, you can just put a, a good sealer over it to retain that, that look and that will ensure that you are preventing any sort of degradation from weather into the brickwork and keep the original uh, look. However, if you've got it painted, you either go to the trouble of trying to sand that off, which can be um, very, very challenging, or go with the paint on top of that existing uh, brickwork that is going to actually lift that up and, and give it a bit more of a shine. And, and uh, semi-gloss and gloss exterior paints tend to work better for exterior bungalow homes if you are going to go with that painted look on the external brickwork on the facade. So look, these ones are very, very popular and as I said, for renovators, um, lots of fun. The good thing about these as well, you see a lot of those verandas with bungalows tend to have that painted look that matches either the, um, blends in with the, the facade or just ties in nicely. They don't always have to have a tiled finish on the external veranda, unlike a federation style that has that tiled or tessellated look. So with your bungalow, always pay attention to where the light is, the room size, and play around with those ceiling whites versus the types of neutrals and cool whites you can use on the walls. The next one is the brick veneer era, and this is the one that is all over the country and very, very popular through from the 1960s up to the 1980s when they were built. And this was a period that um, is commonly around the country. Every major city and country area has brick veneer homes with that brick veneer facade. And this was a period that they built these after sort of we went through a period of Art Deco um, and even contemporary years because it was more affordable and very, very easy to work with. And um, now you can see some suburbs, and I've traveled around many, many cities around Australia where you can have the whole street or suburb that's just featured with these types of homes. Hip roofs, concrete tiles are commonly found on a brick veneer home. You get sliding window frames. Inside is fairly plain um, and you have timber flooring or you can even have concrete floors that are inside. A lot of people are aghast with uh, brick veneers and, and sort of ask us what can we do with it. You are actually in a fortunate situation now with brick veneers on what you can do. Uh, if, you, if we talk about internal, if you've got exposed brickwork on the inside, there's a couple things you can do. You can go with something like a colour wash range which really can um, bring that brickwork feature up but give it a more modern look or you can clad it with something like plasterboard and then paint over it or you can blend the room with a combined look of either plasterboard and a colour wash brick on the inside. I do not suggest you go and put a full heavy coated paint on the brickwork inside because you'll start, you'll start to change it and make it almost look like one of those bungalow uh, style homes but a colour wash or a lime wash uh, paint on the brickwork internally gives it many, many features and brings that room up. With your floors, obviously, you stick with um, what it is, whether it be timber or concrete or tile on top. But you've got to give it that, um, that look internal where it can be modern. And you can do lots with it with the different rooms in the home. So you can play with your neutrals, you can play with your cools, uh, cool whites, your sharp whites as well. But if you have uh, a floor that you might have inherited that could be pine, then you might want to uh, consider going to a, um, a warmer white that might uh, help just keep the look of that room as it is. Externally, we do also have our colour wash range that can be used for the exterior uh, brickwork. And uh, again, you've got a couple options. You can either put a texture, you can put a render over it, or you can decide to 
and just put a color wash exterior coating over the top or on one, one of those walls, particularly external. I don't know if you put the front facade. You did hear Alexi the other week when we had him on the program and he was talking about that front of home is the biggest uh, impression that you're going to give to a potential buyer in the future. So you don't want to bug around with the uh, experimental color washes on the front facade, but you can give it a really good acid wash, bring the look of that brickwork up, maximize the, uh, the brick veneer look. But exterior, like in the external patios in the areas outside, you can play around with some of those feature walls with a color wash and consider that. So don't despair. If you've got a brick veneer home, they are going to come back into fashion. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. You've heard it here from Chief. Uh, but make the most of it. Don't be afraid to be a bit more daring. Out of the, all the period homes in Australia, that's probably the one now that you can actually play around with and do a lot more and be a bit more experimental with than, say, a bungalow or a Federation style home. There are other period homes out there. If you'd like more advice on the types of paints or colours that you might want to select inside, we have our monster crew ready to help you or drop us a line. We'd be more than happy to hear or see your project on any period home around the country. Thanks again for joining me on this episode. We'll see you next time.